Young Turks now has audio, the TYT audio network, podcasts of some of your favorite shows and new shows, including one with Nina Turner, former Ohio State Senator. She's gonna do We the People with Nina Turner, talking about equality and justice and seeing that through the eyes of regular Americans who are affected by politics and policy. Everybody check it out at tyt.com slash audio. CNN isn't particularly known for fact checking some of the <laughs> people, I'll be nice, I'll say people who come on to their programs. In fact, oftentimes they just allow uh, representatives from both sides to say whatever it is that they believe or wanna say, and they go unchecked. But there has been an exception recently, and I wanted to show that exception to our audience. So a woman by the name of Amy Kremer was on uh, CNN, and she was arguing that, you know, under the Obama administration, this whole child separation policy was happening, but no one was talking about it. And luckily, she did get fact checked, especially after she misrepresented what Jay Johnson had previously said on CNN in regard to Obama's deportation policies. Okay, so without further ado, take a quick look at this wonderful fact checking job that was done on CNN. It's Congress's responsibility to fix this problem. This has been going on. It was going on during the Obama administration. It was this, going this on was then. Not it just wasn't being to this level at, at the it Obama was administration. Happening. It absolutely was, Victor. It, it but absolutely the media was, was not. not. That is it. just a clear was, fact, Amy. We no, can talk it's about a fact. perspectives. It was we can happening. talk about, but there are numbers. There's research. There were people who worked in the Obama administration. There were immigration attorneys who were working then or are working now. Any nonpartisan, objective fact checker says that what you are telling people right now is not true. You are there wrong, was no, Jay Johnson. There Jay was Johnson absolutely from, no policy no. Of, of, of zero tolerance that required families to be separated. Victor, you're wrong. Jay Johnson, the Department of Homeland Security under President Obama said on Thursday that they were separating families and they actually were Jay asking Johnson Mexico to enforce their southern border. Jay Johnson said that he could not say that there were no families separated. That's not correct, the, that's it, not the, correct, The interview Victor. was here. Victor, it, that's not correct. We'll Go play read it. the transcript. The, the, the control room is watching this. We'll get the sound bite and we'll play it for the viewers. Okay. We, we, will, we will settle okay. this one. All right, and here's Jay Johnson. There's no policy or practice, at least on my watch, to separate women, parents from their children. Uh, there might be individual cases of there it? Were, I'm sure individual cases for reasons of health or safety. Uh, but we did not have that policy or practice, and it's not something I would have adopted. It's not something I would have permitted. So Amy Kremer ended that, I don't know why we got out of the clip uh, before she could finish making her point. But she ended that uh, exchange by saying, well, I don't have the article that I read in front of me, but it happened. So basically, she just straight out rejected the evidence that was presented to her right there, right there. I mean, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The yeah. evidence doesn't matter, the facts don't matter. They have the agenda, they will keep pushing the agenda. They will will keep arguing that they're right, even if the facts do not bear that out. It makes this entire process, this job that we do, so utterly worthless, or at least at least it feels at least worthless. frustrating. No, it's beyond frustrating, because you have one side that's trying to stick to the facts, and then you have the other side who doesn't care, they just keep mm. rejecting it. It would be one thing if she said Obama was separating families. And he said, no, that's not true, I've got this video of Jay Johnson. And he played it and she said, well, I don't know what my article was. But she was the one saying it was Jay Johnson that said it. That was her example. And that then she says, example. well, I don't have the ability to like pull up, what are you gonna pull up, a different video where he says the exact opposite? No, no, she said, I don't have the ability to pull up the article I was reading. Yeah, but she talked yeah, about it your article. We saw no it. We one saw cares about your article. No one knows where your article's from, but it's obviously misleading or it's it's just incorrect on, on the it facts. Is, it's fr yeah, it's frustrating when, like, if you if you cite evidence and then you, it is directly contradicted to your face and you hold the same position, that's fine. You just didn't believe it for the reason that you're implying you did. So at least be honest about why you believe that. It wasn't because Jay Johnson said something, obviously, because you just saw that he said the exact opposite. And it does. Like, I I don't know so much about the career implications, but I will say that when I see that sort of thing out of a human, it makes me wish that we could press the reset button on the whole species, because there's some fundamental flaws with how we work psychologically. And I've been seeing this from the very beginning. I, I mean, anything. There, there have been, there's been so much great activism on this issue that, I mean, no small part was why it has mostly been reversed at this point. The huge amount of money that's been raised, 
all of that stuff, uh, making sure that people face, stay focused on this. But every bit of that online has been met with, uh, no, Obama did the same thing or, or whatever. And it doesn't matter what the actual truth is to these people. And even the people who will say, like I saw um, Evan Rachel Wood, she went to the, the border and she's doing a fast uh, to raise awareness and to raise money and all of that. And so uh, she retweeted, someone commented to her, uh, where were you under Obama when this was happening? And she responded very honestly, um, I, I didn't know what was going on under Obama and so I care now. But I want to talk, like I want to say to that person, okay, so you're saying where were you then? You can't change where you were in the past. You can change what you're doing now. Where are you now? There's so many people that think that this the, the solution to the family separation is simply saying Obama did stuff. What about and then making the a sandwich and going on about your day? That's that is that whether is, it's true or not. If you even if you believe it's true, that's fine. And no, now but it's what not are you gonna fine, do? John, no, but I'm it's saying not, I'm not gonna is, I'm not know, gonna be able to I get know. through to them. I'm saying at least you could do something. But don't just don't say Obama, do something now for these people. But the reason why they don't do something now is because they never have and never That's, will that is care what for I'm those saying, people. Yes. yes, they don't care. They don't care. So your what about Obama stuff? It's just a way of deflecting, so you feel a little less guilty for being the piece of for crap being that you are. apathetic at, the, at no, the least. No, you're, it's, it's beyond apathetic. Apathetic would imply that they just don't care, right? Mm. That they're not you know, emotionally invested, whatever it is. But it goes further than that. They have complete and utter disdain for people who are fleeing their own countries because they fear for the lives of their children and their own lives. I mean, that's that's the real issue. And so look, this, this policy, the zero Zero tolerance policy wasn't so great for Trump. Even those on the right were criticizing him for it. So how is he going to do some damage control? He's going to spread this nonsense propaganda about how Obama supposedly had the same policy. He did not have the same policy. But here's another thing. We will play fair and we will very honestly and factually criticize Obama for his failings mm -hmm. when it came to the immigration issue. You think that the right wing's gonna do that with Trump? You think the right wing's gonna do that with anyone on their side? No. no. So again, we go back to you know trying to report the facts, trying to talk about the issue honestly when the other side has no interest in that. Well, and this is the reason I wanna talk about this right now is it's an example of a larger problem that I think we're going to have to address because I know there's there's a lot of people who I think justifiably and legitimately and I'm I'm right there with them want to like like just just focus on the issues just talk you know, during the elections if you're running just talk about the issues and you'll be totally fine I think I think you should but I don't think you should because I think it's always going to work what you're always going to come up against if you just let's say we just want to talk about Medicare for all you think we should have Medicare for all yes. I think we should have Medicare for all I think if you talk to people, you probably convince a lot of them. But a gigantic percentage are going to lie about Medicare for all. They're not going to accept even obvious facts about this policy or whichever policy you want to talk about. Just have a conversation about the policy inevitably runs up against the resistance to information and the truth that many people in America have had drilled into them by decades of Fox News and Republican propaganda. It's just so devastating. I want to leave you with a CNN clip. Featuring Jeffrey Lord, a huge Trump supporter. This is from back in 2016, and it gives you, it just perfectly summarizes the argument that I'm trying to make here. That the right wing is not interested in the facts, they will outright reject them. And in fact, if you have the audacity to give people factual information, you are nothing more than an elitist. Take a look. I mean, I hate to be the dissenter here, and I'm not saying this because of Donald Trump, but I honestly don't think that this fact-checking business, as as we're all into this, is anything more than than you know one more sort of out of touch elitist media type thing. I don't think people out here in America care. I don't think people in America care. Well, they've certainly be, been primed to not care. At least one side has been primed to not care. And the fact that CNN had him on. Repeatedly after what he said on that segment gives you a sense mm -hmm. of how CNN has contributed to this problem, yeah. right? Well, yeah, I mean, the, like the first time he was on, he said that the KKK was a leftist organization. So they'd pretty much signed on to a, a you know, whatever he said at that point. But yeah, <laughs> fact checking is elitist. Fact checking is elitist. So that's just Call the me society elitist, we then. live in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the society we live in now. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.